Hi everyone, I'm Anna and today I share something that I think it's the hardest artwork I've done so far. It's a special one. Someone asked me to make this for someone who's very sick. He asked me to make something similar as in this picture here, but in my style. It's a very recognizable picture for whoever gets this drawing, so I didn't want to change it too much. Normally I work from photographs, but here I had to translate very abstract shapes of colors into a pen and ink drawing. I made the initial sketch based on what I saw in the picture and wanted to fill in the gaps from a circle to a rectangle as I was going bit by bit. I started with the person in the foreground. I don't draw much people, so that was another challenge. I looked closely at the reference to see where the shadows and the highlights are and I filled in the person with some hatching and cross hatching. The first few marks are often the most scary ones. Cause you only see those hatching marks and you haven't done the surroundings, there's no context yet. So it may look a bit funny for a while until you fill in the rest. Then it all blends together. And then the foliage in the foreground. Last October I did a similar piece with a lot of foliage. So it was a cool thing, I already had some practice for this piece. I try to keep some real time footage for some parts, so you can see what I'm doing, but I had to speed the footage up quite a bit because of all the details. Most of the time my marks are just a bunch of scribbles and stippling, but the challenge is to make the scribbles in such a way that it represents a certain object, or at least that the overall picture reads as a whole. I converted the reference image to grayscale as I thought it might help me with my pen applications. But converted to black and white it was almost one big grey blob. It didn't have much contrast value wise. So I needed to make some things lighter or darker than my reference and also add contrast by doing different types of strokes next to each other. I was very insecure about this one. I've got so many footage out where I just was staring at my project to think about my next step. In between I photocopied my drawing many times to try out scribbles on a separate piece of paper. That's a good way to experiment with different marks without ruining your actual piece. In the end I think I've done a nice job and challenges like this help you grow as an artist. Every time you learn something new and you get better and better every time you go. For this piece I used several fine liners, the 01 and the 005 from Stadler for the foreground, the 003 from Unipin in the midsection and the 003 from Pigma Micron for the far background. The 003 from Micron is older than my other 003, so therefore it's slightly thinner. You barely see the difference when comparing the two next to each other, but overall it helps to create that perspective where everything gets lighter near the horizon in the far distance. My reference is quite abstract. I don't recognize every shape or color as a particular object. It reads like a bunch of foliage. So much was up to my imagination to make it into a cohesive illustration. Especially the mountains in the background, I didn't know how I wanted to do this. I had no clear end result in mind when I started this. But I started this project with the confidence that I could make this work, although I didn't know what I would end up with. I just started, but despite all the insecurities, I enjoyed the process from start to finish. It's such a nice feeling when you see just some scribbles evolve into something beautiful.
I didn't want to go too far with the details as I also wanted to add some ink wash. Especially in the background, I wanted to keep it light to create perspective distance. With the ink wash, I added a shade of grey to all the black markings. It gives a little more depth to the drawing and softens it a bit. It ties the whole drawing together in my opinion. As always, I start light with the applications, because you always can make things darker. I often take a break from the project and come back to it with fresh eyes after a while. That way you can see better what needs to be done. Especially the path that needs more contrast by adding darker values. I left the winding path in the middle completely blank, just like the reference picture. I could have filled it in, but I like the contrast it gives. Now it draws your eyes through the illustration, all the way to the horizon in the background. And also because the drawing is about the path, it's about walking forward to a hopeful future. I really like the end result of this one and I learned a lot. I leave you with the rest of the timelapse now, please let me know what you think in the comments down below and also what you want me to make next time. Have a nice day, until next time.